Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. Valentine's Day is just around the corner so I thought I would show you how you can create a really cute card in about 15 minutes. I'm working on Canson XL watercolor paper. I have my Muno 48 pan set. I tell you this all the time, this is a great set for the beginner. Nice variety of colors and it's about $48, $40 I think. I'm also using a round size 8 brush. I have some clean water and some Posca pens. Now I took the little, a little mat that I'm going to put around the card, or the, rather the painting, and I traced the inside on my paper so I know how far I can go out. And I'm going to be painting hearts and I'm using a few different colors pre-mix your colors before you start painting that way you don't have to slow down to mix more paint and when you're creating these hearts don't worry about them being perfect in fact the more imperfect they are the better so just fill your card and even go over the edges with these hearts and make sure that you use a nice variety of different colors don't worry about um, them bleeding one into the other that's kind of the look that you want to go for in this tutorial. You can see that so far my hearts are not even on both sides, they're not perfect. We're not going for that. We're just creating a cute little card. We're going to have some fun with it and we're not going to worry about it. And you can see here in this one I've dropped a little bit of a deeper red into that heart. So don't be afraid to experiment and add a little bit more color or deepen your colors. You don't even have to use red or pink, you can use whatever colors you like. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this area with different size hearts and then we'll come back and I'll explain some more. Okay, so I've finished filling in the card with different size hearts and you can see how pretty that looks already. And now I'm using the very tip of my brush and I'm adding some tiny little hearts in the white areas. And this is really easy to do if you just use the tip of your brush. It's just two swipes, one on each side and you've got a heart. And now I'm going to make sure that this is completely dry before I start to outline the hearts with the Posca pens because I don't want to um, smudge anything. Alright, so the Posca pen that I'm using is a 0.7. Um, yes, a 0.7. And you can see that I'm outlining the hearts, but I'm not trying to stay within the lines. I'm going beyond the lines and that's the look that I was going for. So go ahead and outline all of your little hearts. And you can see I started on the wrong side. I do this all the time. Um, I'm right-handed so I really should start on the left but I always end up starting on the right so I have to turn my painting upside down so that I don't smudge anything. Now that I've finished outlining the hearts, I'm using a Posca pen with a much smaller nib and I'm just writing a quick, simple little message in one of the hearts. It just reads, I love you, which I think is perfect. Now 
Now you can see when I put the mat over it how cute it looks. So now I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to adhere it. Now to adhere it you can use double sided tape if you like or you can even use um, a glue stick. So you can see I'm cutting it out a little bit larger than my tracing because I want to have enough room so that I can adhere it to the mat. And you can purchase these cards that are already cut to size and they fit these mats perfectly. I love using these. It saves me a lot of time and trouble. But you can see that the mat looks absolutely adorable on the card. It brings out the black. Very simple, very cute. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you give it a try. I would love for you to share it with me on our Facebook group, Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials, where you can share your versions of the paintings and, and techniques learned on this channel. We have a great group of members that are incredibly supportive. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's a nice way to show your support. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description box for links to the products used, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!